What's up, what's up? It's your boy, The Network. And today's topic is windowing, also known as window scale option, also known as window sizing. This is subsection 1.4D delta of the CCMP route exam 300-101 version 2.0. Let's go ahead and look at the exam blueprint. Here we go. Again, 300-101. Today, we are at section 1.4 D Delta windowing, which is under explain TCP operations. After that, we're going to move on to BDP, not the rat group, but bandwidth delay products, which is uh, section 1.4 E. Again, we are doing TCP windowing. So windowing is a mechanism that TCP uses to kind of control the flow of traffic that a sender is going to send its receiver. It's kind of like shifting gears of how much traffic to send. Should I slow it, keep sending more or slow it down? Give you an official definition. Actually, we'll go over the commands. Uh, this is the commands we're going to go over today. Uh, we're not going to spin up GNS3. You really don't need to know this command, but this is kind of like a little bonus tidbit that you can use to kind of modify the window size in Cisco iOS. I don't even believe I have a router that can run this command. That's why I didn't even want to bring it up. So anyways, um, so yeah, windowing is the TCP window scale option. It's an option to increase the receive window size allowed in transmission protocol, or TCP, above its former maximum value of 65,535 bytes. Now, that was the most you can send. Now you could send up to when you when you do window sizing, you can send up to a whole gigabyte of data before you want to slow it down or, you know, or speed it up. You got that much room to kind of play with um, this TCP option, along with several others, is, def is, is defined in IETF RFC 1323. Now I'm going to put a link in the uh, description below, which deals with. LFNs or long fat networks. I kid you not. That is actually a name for a network and infrastructure. One common example of that is satellite because there's, there's a high bandwidth of traffic that you can send to satellite, but there's also a high delay because coming back, it takes a long time before that reply comes back. They call those type of networks LFNs or long fat networks. If you think that's a funny uh, a network, a funny name for networking, you should wait till we get to like OS, uh, OSPF and 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 non stubby. You'll see all of it. They got some funny ass terms. Anyway, that's another Wikipedia definition for y'all. Window size is an option in the TCP header. Remember, we went over this. This is not the IP header. This is the IP header is layer three. This is layer four, which deals with the TC, with TCP, with transport layer or the transport layer. We're dealing with window sizing. That's 16 bits of the TCP header. It's 20. The TCP header is also 20 bytes, 16 bits of it or two bytes of it is the window size option that fits right in here. That's where that value is. Um, if you really want to look into all of this and break it down, you kind of oh, you open up Wireshark and you do all that. I'm not gonna do all that. We doing we doing uh, enough to kind of pass the exam. Not enough to pass the exam, but we just need the knowledge and what's you know behind uh, the transport layer. TCP traffic. We've mentioned this in several videos before. Before two devices communicate with TCP traffic. They do what's called a three-way handshake. First, like if you look in this slide right here, host A is trying to communicate with host B. First, he sends what's called a send packet. I think that's syntax. I don't remember. I don't remember what that's short for. He sends um, a send a send packet. Host B receives it. Then he sends a send act or send acknowledgement saying, "Hey, I got your message." Host A sends another. Acknowledgement, as you see at the bottom, A, C, K, or ACK, letting them know, okay, I got that you got it. After this, they start, they open up a, a TCP session and they start communicating back and forth. So they do this three way handshake before they start communicating, for real, for real. Now, the thing about TCP communication 
it has this mechanism called windowing. And that's what this topic was about, right? So windowing is a way to kind of control the flow of traffic that host A is going to use to communicate with host B. Host A is going to be sending messages and, and, and try to send them as fast as he can, as fast as he can, as fast as he can. Then he realizes he's not getting each time he sends a message, he's supposed to get an acknowledgement from host B saying, hey, I got it. Another acknowledgement. So it's going to be like send, act, sin, act. And they go back and forth. Now, if he sends too many sins and host B is not acknowledging, then he's like, OK, I got to slow it down. So he starts decrementing how much traffic he, he going to be sending host B. Now, when I think about this kind of communication, I always like to think about the analogy with the father and son throwing a football to each other, right? Now, I got that on the next slide right here. So host A is the father, host B is the son, right? So host A, father is throwing him a football. And he, let's say he blindfolded because he don't know if he caught it or not, right? He blindfolded, he throw the football, host B catches it. But when he catches it, He's yelling, acknowledged, or I caught the football or whatever. And then the dad knows he caught the football. Okay, so now he can grab another football from the bin. He, he throwing a whole bunch of footballs. I don't know where the hell they got these footballs from, but that's what he doing just for the sake of this uh, TCP uh, example. So he grabs another football from the bin and throws another one at his son. Hopefully he caught it. He, he says he acknowledges it. Or, hey, I caught it. And he throws it back. But he's, you know, his his son is like Eli Manning. This is this is Archie. I'm Archie Manning. The father's Archie Manning, and he's throwing it to Eli Manning. Eli Manning, he caught the football, but he catches the foot. He throws the football back into the bin, right? And then um, dad knows he threw it, so he's like, okay, we doing good now. So I'm gonna start throwing more, and he starts throwing more. Hopefully, Eli is able to catch these footballs at a good pace, right? But if he's not hearing, Eli is saying. You know, that he's a knowledge that he's catching the footballs or not. Then he's like, OK, I got to slow it down. I got to start slowing it down. So he's throwing less footballs or not less footballs, but he's throwing them at a slower rate. He's like, OK, I'm throwing them too fast. So he's throwing them at a slower weight. That's kind of what windowing is. Right. I'm going to show you an example in this PowerPoint slide right here. So you got these different. That's what they call window sizes. The pace that he's going at. That's the window size. So if you see in this slide right here, window size one. He's throwing just one football, blindfolded. Eli catches the football. I got it. He throws the football back. Eli's so nice, he threw it right back in the bin. He's like, okay, good. So he throws another football. I got it. Throws it right back. And he throws it. He throws he, Okay, I'm going to throw two now. I'm, and he, he, he catches He catches the first one, catches the second one. I got it. I got it. I'm throwing him right back. He threw it right back. Okay, good. I'm going to start throwing four. I'm going to start throwing four at a time now. And he hopes that he catches him, right? But he's listening for the acknowledgement. So he's making sure that Eli ca is catching the footballs. So, for example, if you look at this slide here, window size one is the pace that he's going. He's throwing one at a time. Window size two, he's throwing two at a time. Window size four, he's throwing four at a time. Until he realizes, okay, I'm not hearing, I'm not hearing Eli catching the footballs now. He's probably dropping them now. As a matter of fact, the drop footballs is a representation of, of con congestion. Because when he's dropping the footballs, that's dropping packets. So dropping the packets is congestion. And we don't want him to do that. So Archie is throwing less footballs this time. He throwing, he, he's like, okay, I got to slow down now. I got to slow down now. And that's what that's kind of like what windowing is, the different sizes of windows. Window size one is like, okay, one football at a time, so on and so forth. Um, I hope that, you know, kind of explains it but that's what i think about when i think of of window sizing and the window scale option now these different pace or window sizes they go that value goes in the tcp header in the window size option right here in the red that's the that's the pace he needs to go at now there's a way to kind of find there's different ways to find out what's the perfect rate he need to be sending it at and there's all kind of tools that you can use to um, um, to find out what the perfect rate is. But that's, you know, that's beyond the scope of this exam. If you really, you know, when once you find that out, that's where this this command right here in iOS comes in. You do IP TCP size instead of set a static value. That's what that does. I'm not going to show you how to do that. Basically, you just, you know, 
you log into the router, you choose the interface you need to do that at, configuration T, and you put that command right underneath uh, the, the, the interface that you choose. Now, um, why would you want to adjust that? Again, it's to improve your network performance. You realizing you throwing them too fast, so you need to slow it down, or you sending too much trans uh, TCP transmissions, so you need to slow it down. You can do that. You can do that in a, in a Windows computer. You can do that through the Windows registry. Obviously, this ain't a Windows course. I'm not going to show you that, but that's what you could do to kind of improve the network performance. It, it also decreases your congestion. Like I said before, the drop footballs or the drop packets in this case equals congestion. That's what that that's a representation of that. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I believe we're gonna keep this short and simple. Like I said, I was gonna try to do. Um, I hope that explains it. Um, I think there's another way. I believe it was CenturyLink. They had an excellent video that I found that kind of represent. They use basically passengers on a flight. I'm gonna send. A, I'm gonna put a link in the description below to kind of help you visualize what window sizing is. And I hope that explains it for you guys. Anyways, if you like this video, comment, like, subscribe to the network.